Hi, this is Chris Wagner. Welcome to Cross BI. And today we're talking about MVP. Not that, wait, not, not, not this MVP. What we're talking about is Agile MVP or minimum viable product. Let's go to it. Hang on. Before we, before we do the, all that shifting and, and, and malarkey and stuff, I want to make sure that if you like the content that we're doing, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and even turn on that alarm notification. It really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate every single one of you who subscribe to the channel. I Thank you very much. Helps me out quite a bit that you've done so. All right, back to it. All right, MVP, minimum viable product. This is a concept inside of the Agile methodology that has been around for a while, which is uh, basically the concept that you want to get the smallest bit of software, the smallest feature set that meets your client's needs out and available to the, to the public, right? Uh, there's a lot of benefits that come with this. It, it does mean that like content isn't necessarily always going to be as, you know, it's not all going to be there. It's definitively not going to be there, right? But the idea is that you can get updates out on a more regular basis and people can start to reap those benefits right away. The, the whole point of that is you don't want to be too long outside of the, your, your, your client's minds without getting feedback on everything that you're developing. Because a long time ago in the olden days of computing, five years ago or <laughs> ten, you know, whatever, uh, you know, it, before we started to adopt the entire Agile framework, uh, pretty much standard across the industry, we really worked in, an, in a waterfall methodology where business analysts would sit down and write out requirements for years on end. Those, those requirements would be sent over to developers. Developers would work on it for months. And then the, when the users finally got the content, it had been so long ago that they asked for it that oftentimes it wasn't anywhere near what it, what it, what it needed to be. Um, that's, that's why uh, this entire concept of MVP came along. Now, uh, Microsoft has been working in MVP for a long time. And in fact, I think that they've kind of, in many ways, ways really mastered it. But that's something that it's, it's something you have to remember because when they do a release, they do it in a very MVP framework to, to get it out to people. Uh, I mean, they'll have done a lot of testing. Like I've been on those tests. I've been on those phone calls. I've done those surveys. Like, does this meet our, our needs and stuff like that? But there's a big understanding that this is not going to be the be-all, end-all. There's going to need to be updates, right? And they want to get that feedback from you, right? So this is why I, I actually, I've got this little notebook that I carry around with me everywhere. And I've got a handful of things I draw in there and I pull out all the time. And one of them is this, right? So the whole progress from suck to okay to great is that MVP development life cycle. So anyone working in an agile framework, the first bit of code that you're going to deploy is going to kind of suck, right? Um, so you have to be very mindful of that as you're building out code, as you're building out content, that it's not going to be great. The idea is that you get it out there faster than you possibly, you know, than you would if you would, you sat on it for months at a time. Now, Power BI is an like I said, an excellent example of this. They have updates every single month of the year. There's a wave of features and changes that get that come out here. June, you know, here's the June's latest releases that you can go out and see what's coming or what's available out here. This is excellent. Same is true, and this I'll post this link down below. But here's also what's planned for the next wave of releases. Now, the wave of releases is basically their six month blocks. That are, they used to call them a, a, a summer and a fall wave, but they've now, or spring and fall, but they've changed it now. There's wave one, wave two for the year. Um, anything after September falls in the second wave, I think. I don't know, something like that. Um, uh, but you could go out and you could check out the wave so you can understand all the features that are coming. So if there's a feature inside the Power BI space that ain't all that it's cracked up to be, you know, it's either in that like kind of sucks category or it's okay, or, um, you know, it's on that pathway to, to great. You can see that those features are, are going to be added in. Additionally, you can leverage the ideas site to get more items on the, 
Power BI team's backlog to help you know make the the platform uh, as good as it could be. Now, this is an effective way for agile methodologies and doing MVP releases is a great way for you to begin developing your dashboards and your reports. Okay. Now, this is a report I, I've showed many times. It's available out on crossbi.com. Um, but when you build out a report, don't go in, out and try to build out all of the different visuals, all of the different tabs, everything that's available inside the report. Start with a page. Get that page out there. Get some feedback from users. Understand what resonates with them, what they're doing with it, and then get feedback and understand what are the next points that you need to answer in order to help them do their jobs. This is a big key when it comes to report development. Um, and don't be afraid to pull back and scrap things that you've done. Some of the best work in the, that I've ever published or ever seen done looked radically different on, on day you know 90 than it did on day one. Right. Be okay. Be very open to that feedback. Be very alert to what users are looking for uh, and, and be very mindful of what's going on inside of Power BI. There may be some features or functionalities that your users want or would be helpful for users that's not out today, but by look at those release notes, you see that's going to be available inside of the next few months. So when you build our content, think about how you can do it in MVP releases every week. Think about, can I do, you know, publish a page, you know, publish a revision on a page, publish the next page, publish a revision on that page as you go through a sprint, right? So one sprint, focus on new, second sprint, focus in on refactoring, right? Kind of follow that pattern, always looking back on what's out there and seeing how you can make that better is going to improve the content that you're publishing and what's out in your service, all right? Thank you guys very much for, for, for dialing in. Where the heck? Where'd she go? Come on. No. I know where she is. Here she is. Yeah, there she goes. Thank you very much for, 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 for joining uh, me and Tina. I don't know if you watch the... Uh, if, if you watch the Belchers or you know, Bob's Burgers like I do, but freaking love that show. Shout out to everyone at Bob's Burgers. You the bomb. Um, uh, thank you guys very much for joining. Again, remember, like, subscribe. If you like the content, uh, you like these t-shirts. I got Mr. Uh, uh, Finland. I, th I, I think the, 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 the Paginated Bear merchandise has already rolled off, so you guys, you're missing it. Uh, go out and check out the merch store. See if there's, you know, anyone out there that you want to go and get. Um, you know, get that content before it's gone. Thank you guys very much. Really enjoyed doing this stuff. Peace.